County Commissioner, County Executive, Members Present, Members of County Assembly Present, Women Senators Present, Gender Activists, Development Partners Present, Civil Society Organization Present, Religious Leaders, Members of Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. I thank you for inviting me here to address you on this day on matters that concern all of us. It is one of the most pervasive violations of human rights in the world, one of the least prosecuted crimes, and one of the greatest threats to lasting peace and development. I'm talking about gender-based violence. I'm honored to be here at your request to launch the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence marked every year. This year theme is Hear Me Too and Gender-Based Violence Against Women and Girls. Yesterday, the 25th, is designated as the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. The 16 days of activism run up to 10th December, which is the International Human Rights Day. Every living human being globally, internationally, and even here in Garissa, whether male or female, has the right to a peaceful living and working environment free from any form of harassment or violation. I stand here as a woman, a mother, a sister, a wife, pained by the fact that sexual and gender-based violence is the most extreme form of global and systematic inequality experienced by women and girls. It knows no geographic, no socioeconomic or cultural boundaries. Worldwide, one in three women will suffer physical or sexual violence at some point in her life. This extends from rape, FGM, domestic violence, to harassment at work. In Garissa, FGM as a form of gender-based violence is at 97% compared to national average of 21%. This is according to the Kenya Demographic Health Survey 2014. Gender-based violence in all its forms is crime that often remains unreported and hidden due to fear of stigmatization within homes and communities. We must end this silence. Everyone has a responsibility to prevent and to end violence against women and girls. As men are critical partners in the fight against violence on women and girls, I implore and call upon all men to be on the forefront. Husbands, protect your wives. Sons and brothers, protect your sisters. Religious and community leaders, preach peace and respect for both genders at home and at work. We must all, especially men, stand up against abusive behavior whenever we see it. We must say, I do not agree with, that, with this. I will not support such action. It's wrong. We must risk criticism for standing out from the crowd. We must condemn all acts of violence. We must establish quality with women in our work lives and our home lives. We must change the everyday experience of women and girls. Women rights were once thought of a women's business owned, but more and more, men and boys are becoming true partners, true allies, and in the battle for women's empowerment. This must continue and it must expand. This way, the girl and woman shall be empowered and to contribute further in the development of Garissa. I also encourage the support for victims through seeking medical attention, psychosocial care, training on defensive martial arts, rescue shelters, and a form of justice through paralegals.
I appreciate what the Ministry of Gender, Social and Sport has been doing through Garissa Gender Technical Working Group, organizing this event and all efforts in strengthening the fight against GBV in the county are commendable. I must emphasize on the need for partnerships in the fight against GBV. My office as the First Lady of Garissa and my community-based organization, Fountain of Hope, champions and advocates for human rights. Development partners present, I call upon you to fund and implement more projects in partnership with county government, my office, local implementing partners, and the community in the fight to end gender-based violence. Let us all come together to empower both genders for our prosperous Garissa. Ladies and gentlemen, I end by saying that we all have a role to play in ending violence against the girl child and women. And I ask everyone present here, as well as those beyond this forum, who hear our words today, to play your part in protecting women and girls from discrimination and violence. With these remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to officially launch the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence and home-related activities in Garissa County. I wish, I wish you all a happy festive season and a prosperous new year. Thank you. Shai Ali, 